we want to solve this heat conduction problem uh, for u x x equals u t that's the p d e and u at 0 t 0 u at 50 t 0 these are boundary conditions and in the last u x 0 equals 20 that's the initial condition okay and this is p d e that's the boundary conditions and this is initial condition uh, we can represent this heat conduction problem this way uh, let's say x in the x axis that's the spatial coordinate space in this in this case we have only one variable and here is the time t okay here at zero the temperature is zero u is zero here and when the x is 50 this is x equals 50 uh, the temperature u is also zero and and the initial condition here is u x 0 equals 20 and we got the PDE here and the problem here is to find what is u at any time t u x t is what okay uh, if we just have this heat conduction PDE then you we could easily find the solution just like let's say u x t equals let's say some constant some constant x e square plus let's say 8 that constant t if we take this temperature u then this will satisfy this PDE uh, let's see u x x let's find the derivative of this with respect to x uh, the derivative of this with respect to x so h c t will be a constant so the derivative with respect to x is 0 so 2 c x and u x x a derivative one more time 2 c that's u x x and u t from this one if we find u t derivative of this function with respect to t this behaves like constant so 0 h c t that's just 8c with respect to t if we plug in here 4 times u x x 4 times 2c is 8c equals 8c so this satisfies this pd and this is called sometimes called heat polynomial but the problem here is this does not satisfy the boundary conditions and initial conditions so this is not a solution we are looking for so we want to find something different that satisfies all the boundary conditions two boundary conditions and initial condition so we want to use the method of separation of variables uh, for that one we assume the solution so let the solution be u x t is just x as a function of x times t as a function of t suppose the solution can be written as a product of two functions where x is a single variable and t is also single variable now we want to plug in this into this pd into the boundary conditions and eventually into this initial condition to plug in plug into this PDE we have to find u x x so let's find the derivative with respect to x derivative of this function that means derivative of this product with respect to x this behaves like constant so we have to find the derivative of this let's say that's x prime and find the derivative with respect to x one more time this vf is like a constant so x double prime dt that's the u x x uh, let's find u t let's find the derivative of this function with respect to t so we get u t equals now x vf is like constant uh, derivative of t is t prime 
now let's plug in ux x ut into the od into this pde then uh, from let me here is this one then from the ODE I meant PD we get 4 AX double prime I'm gonna drop this AX and T X double prime T equals UT which is AX T prime okay now I, I want to separate the variables which is possible in this case uh, divide both sides by x 4 x t divide by 4 x t then we get x double prime over x equals 1 over 4 t prime over t now we got this fraction equals this fraction uh, this fraction I mean this is a function of x this is a function of x this is a function of t this is a function of t now their ratios are same that means they must be constant let's say that constant is negative lambda let's say this one then this implies if we say x prime over x equals negative lambda we get x double prime plus lambda x equals zero and from second fraction equals negative lambda we get t prime plus 4 lambda t equals zero okay so I don't have room so I need to erase here now we want to find the boundary conditions for this new these are now ODEs so let me erase this one so we need to keep this one so we want to plug in that U that we assumed into the boundary conditions okay uh, plug U into the boundary conditions okay then here u 0 t equals 0 so we said x equals 0 so u 0 t u 0 t is x 0 t t and from the first boundary condition this is 0 so we got a product of x product of x and t equals 0 that means either x 0 equals 0 or t t equals 0 so this implies either x equals 0 or t equals 0 this one is for all t but if t is 0 for all t then our solution will be just 0 trivial solution so we don't want this one okay that means x 0 equals 0 so we consider x 0 equals 0 that's at the left end point here except 0 using the first boundary condition similarly from the second boundary condition we get similarly x at the other end x 50 equals 0 okay so we want to solve this ODE with these boundary conditions okay that is what we we've, we've seen in section 10.1 thus let's say now we want to solve x double prime plus lambda x equals 0 that's what we, that's what we found and x 0 equals 0 x at 50 equals 0 So this is an eigenvalue problem. In fact, we have three cases to consider, but we already know the answer for this one we saw in 10.1. So the solution of this boundary value problem is given by the eigenfunctions are 
sin n pi x over 50 and the eigenvalues are n is square pi is square over 50 is square okay now we had this second ODE with respect to t now we want to solve that t uh, pretty much the x part is done so for the our final answer this is the x for here we are done with that one now to find t we want to use these pi lambda ends in the boundary in that ODE with respect to t and solve for t I don't have room, so I need to erase this one. So let me erase this one one more time. We have, if we go back and check the ODE with respect to T, it was T prime plus. 4 lambda t equals 0 uh, and then we found the lambda that is lambda n's okay that is t prime plus 4 lambda n's were given n square pi square over 50 square t equals 0 and this is a first order ODE now we want to solve this for t okay it's like t prime plus alpha t equals 0 then t is given by this you can try constant e raised to negative alpha lowercase t that's t because t is a function of t okay then this one is implies t is a function of t is some constant e raised to negative 4 n square pi square over 50 square lowercase t is the uppercase t is a function of t okay and this is true for all n bigger than equal to one okay thus our solution u x t is just the product of x and t and we found in the previous previously x that is sine n pi x over 50 times t t is this one is t constant times solution so we can drop this constant so we have e raised to negative 4 n is square pi square over 50 square t now in this is true for all n bigger than equal to 1 so u we can say there are n solutions n many solutions in fact infinitely many solutions Okay, and these are called the fundamental solutions. Okay, these are called these are called fundamental solutions. Okay. Next, we want to find the solution. So, <coughs> we want to write down the linear combination of these solutions that will be the our solution let me erase one more time i don't need this one anymore and thus the solution u is a linear combination of these solutions so we got n from one through infinitely many and let me write e first e raised to negative 4 n is square pi is square over 50 is square t times sine n pi x over 50 and we need constant as well and let's say that constant is c n okay uh, recall from math 320 if we have only two solutions y1 and y2 the so, um, the general solution would be c1 y1 plus c2 y2 
So we have n many, so there are n constants. Okay. The last thing we need to do is find cn's, the constants. These are the unknowns. This is known. This is also known. Uh, unknowns, and we find the constants using the initial condition because we have not used that initial condition yet. Okay. I'll be done in a couple of minutes now, I believe. Okay. Now, using the given initial condition, which is the initial temperature was 20, that means when time t equals 0, u is 20. So, this u is 20 when time equals 0. So, we want to plug in t equals 0. So, this sum cn n from 1 through infinity t 0 e raised to 0 which is 1. We don't have to write that one. Sin n pi x over 50. Okay. And if you look at this one, this one looks like b n sin n pi x over 50. We could have written just b n okay not c n maybe just let's say let me write down b n okay these are b n's and this one is a Fourier series Fourier in fact sine series okay this text section 10.4 and we know how to find the bn's, the constants. Okay, and bn's are found. Okay, bn's are found by two over l, the length, which is fifty, zero to l. And the function, which is twenty, or this one is the function f x, twenty sine n pi x over. 50 dx okay and just integrate this one you get bn's so the solution is given by star where the bn's are found here and you can finish this one easily just definite integral so you'll have after some work you'll have 20 times 2 40 over 50 it's 40 over 50 outside and antiderivative of sine is negative cosine n pi x over 50 is an angle divided by n pi over 50 we need to evaluate from 0 through 50 x equals 0 through x equals 50 and at the end you'll have 40 over n pi 1 minus cosine n pi 1 minus cosine n pi so this is 40 over n pi 1 minus cosine n pi and cosine n pi is negative 1 raised to n okay and you can do better than this but this is okay so the solution is given by star okay this is star where bns are given here 